Welcome to this segment of AKT Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. I'm a psychic medium and tarot reader. I speak to those that are physically dead yet still alive. Soul, mind, spirit bodies still alive, intact. They move between here and the other. They move between here and the other side. Put my cash app in the chat for those that love me and support me. Hit my cash app, bitch. Make it clap. Drop it down low. Wiggity, wiggity, wobbity, wobbity. Left cheek, right cheek. Grab them ankles, bend over, and make that goddamn cash app clap. Um, hey, everybody. Look, I'm not going to stay on this long because I haven't done a lot of detailed reading on this subject with Meg the Stallion in the shooting two years ago, what, 2020? They're on trial now, December 2022. They're in court giving their testimony. Meg Thee Stallion, they're in California. Meg Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and what, Kelsey Harris. Um, It's always been something funny about this to me since the very beginning. So I haven't dug very deeply. I've been so busy. And in between that, just worn out, tired. I didn't even finish my cookie today. I've got to finish it tomorrow. I just want to put that greens on. Although they taste good the first day I, I make them, like a day or two later, oh my God, they've been sitting in there really marinating the refrigerator. Ooh, they're really delicious. I love to drink the juice. It made me feel better. So I did look at a couple. Of, I did look at a couple of cards on this. I did I didn't do a full tarot reading. Um, I would have to sit with this because it's going in several directions. And to be honest with you, I'm going to say what uh, is totally against what they said happened. I'm going to say Tory Lanez didn't shoot Meg in the feet. I never completely felt like he did it. He's involved in it. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'm just going to kind of freestyle this reading right now because I don't, uh, I haven't looked very deeply into this and I'm just going to give you my impressions off the top. Okay. I don't believe he directly shot Megan. I believe Kelsey did it. I don't even know if she completely did it. It's between Tory Lanez, Kelsey, and a, a, a driver or security guard, a bodyguard. I see two guns. I see two sets of bullets. And I see that this is staged. This was set up and staged before they got in the car. I feel like there was an argument between the three of them. And correct me if I'm wrong, because I didn't get completed in the other aspect. Was uh, one of the Kardashian sisters, was she involved in this? Was she in the car or did they go to her house? Because I don't know if Tory Lanez was also messing with one of the Kardashian sisters. Is that true? Correct me if I'm wrong. Because they're saying Meg, the stallion got mad because uh, they went to one of the Kardashian sisters' house. And uh, Kylie, so she wasn't in the car. They just went to her house. Okay, they all were at her house and said that Tory wanted to stay. And I keep seeing there were two sets of all three of them was lovers. Um, Tori, uh, Kelsey, the girl in the car, and uh, Meg the Stallion. This is, you see what I'm saying? See, I haven't really gotten deep down into this because y'all didn't donate to me to get, get deep down into it. So um, I, I haven't. So if you want me to get deeper in this, you're going you're gonna to have to um, donate to me because... Uh, this goes in so many directions and these people are connected through the men, male lovers and connected through female lovers. Look like uh, she was going with that girl there. Like Tori was messing with both of them and they was fucking each other. And Kelsey said she didn't know that that um, Meg the Stallion was fucking Tori Lane. But all three of them nasty. But um, made like they them two there. Okay, I'm seeing that girl. I'm just telling her what come off my head. I ain't really getting into this too deeply. 
I'm just going to tell you that, like I said, what I'm saying is it's going in another direction to me. There's two men involved uh, driving a bodyguard. So I'm wondering, well, was a bodyguard in the car and who was the driver and where's the two goddamn it guns? I'm telling you, it's two guns. One, one, I'm wondering, is a I wonder, is it a revolver or one is a semi-automatic? I, I'm really wondering where the guns at and what type of bullets in there because something looked like it was switched with a gun and a bullet, and there was a cleanup man and the cleanup somebody was called and somebody came out there and looked like a police. I'm saying a police, two policeses. And one, an attorney. So it looked like a police was paid off, paid that night to help cover this and switch this shit around. The guns, is two guns. And the guns were switched. It looked like the bodyguard, it was a bodyguard. So I don't know, you have to tell me. Was it a bodyguard in the car? Did a bodyguard follow or come later? Was it a driver in the car who was a driver? Because I'm now, see, I'm seeing two men and I'm seeing two police. And the one was paid off. And I'm seeing a very powerful man that's a kingpin. Good by day, but it's a controls gangs is a mob boss that has um, Megan. She's under him and a uh, very powerful political male and has a lot of pulls a lot of strings that people are afraid of. There's organized crime that controls Megan. She's under and the record label. But let me tell you what else I'm seeing. I'm picking up Jay Prince. Why am I picking up Jay Prince? Because I'm picking up Megan got a slick, nasty mouth and hoish. And that girl, Kelsey, is a um, industry plant, a whore and a snitch. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. She is also connected to Jay Prince. Why did I pick up Jay Prince? Because for some reason, I'm picking up organized crime over there and mob boss. He's not the only one I'm picking up with drug activity and gangs and people that will pull stunts. Kelsey looked like she want to be in the entertainment industry. She either want to be a singer, a rapper. She's been promised things. And also, she got a secret deal with Tory Lane. So I wanted Tory Lane give her some money. And plus, she done did threesome group sex with him and Megan. Because I'm hearing the spirit, there's a rumor I'm hearing on the underground. They said somebody said she was smelling like fish. So the vagina was smelling like fish because uh, she sucked pussy and sucked dick. And with that other girl, that girl is two-faced and backstabbing. Got her foot in two camps over there. Megan done made that football player mad or that ex-football player because she talked too motherfucking much and her mind go back and forth. Look like when she get drunk and when she get high, her, she starts to stumbling around in her memory. Some of that shit that night she don't remember. And that ain't the first time she done got so drunk or high out of mind. I don't know what else she be taking. But Megan don't have no good memory. She's she's cloned. She go in and out, back and forth. And all she want is to make deals. That other man that she had that deal with, that man's mad, mad at her. And he's also... Uh, organized crime connected with Jay Prince. He's very powerful too. And he's very vindictive and holding a grudge in some kind of way. He connected to that girl, Kelsey Harris. What her name? Kel is I'm saying her name, right? Kelsey. She connected to that man that she, okay. What I'm trying to say is Megan the stallion created some real bad blood between her other management company that man, I think he was an ex-football star or something. He is very mad at her and holding a lot of grudges towards her. And some kind of way, this girl that's her friend, that they was fucking each other and, and fucking niggas together and fucking fucking on the same niggas are having bets to go try to fuck the nigga. I'm a fucking first. I'm going to do this and that. See, they've been playing. See, they basically in their own world. She's in a world where she got all these uh, opportunities being handed to her and got a record deal with Jay-Z and she pulled away from that football player that's with Jay Prince. He's mad at her and still out to get her and set her up. And that, that black girl there, Kelsey right there, she want to be a star and get recognition. She undercover. Uh, she's attracted to Megan, but she jealous of Megan at the same time. They be competing in the same circle with these men with money and entertainers, they be screwing them men together. 
or they'll share me. I'm a fucking, well, I'm a fucking, well, if I get to him first and I fuck him in, you know, and, and that's all I want to do, or uh, if it don't go nowhere, then you fuck him or we'll fuck him together. Both of them doing on dope. And that other girl looked like she done have some legal problems before because she's dirty and treacherous and cutthroat. Look like they put her up. That other management team, what is name? Carl? That's the name coming to me. Is that the name that one she went to get out of her contract to get with Jay-Z? I think his name might be Carl or got, got the name Carl in his name. I don't know if it's his first name, middle name. She's still into something with him. That's what I'm picking up. He's tied to this shit. Shooting her in her damn foots. And when metaphysically you think about shooting somebody trying to hurt them in their feet, it's like you trying to walk forward in life with your foots and with your ass, your face, and your mouth. So if somebody shoots you or hurts your foots, they're trying to jam you stop from moving forward. So when I looked at that, I saw somebody jamming her up. She really be high and likes to screw men and get attention. But that's what they make you do up there anyway. So that's just a part of the party and in the game. But them two, uh, Megan done did stuff to her with men. She cut throwing and backstabbing and did stuff to Megan with men. She didn't know. She said she didn't know that Megan was uh, screwing Tory Lane's ass until Tory Lane's in that car and said, well, you know, me and her, you know, been messing around. Then said Megan beat her ass out there in the car and they got into it and said Tory Lane said dance bitch and started shooting. But the girl, I think Kelsey on the trial said that did not happen. That was not said. And Tory didn't want to lose his opportunity because they said Rock Nation wanted to sign him when they took him. I think Megan took him to the Rock Nation brunch uh, before this happened. And said when it happened, Tory begged Kelsey to take a million dollars. She took some money and she didn't just take it from him. She took it from what I'm seeing in the spirit from that camp that Megan was with. That's connected to Jay Prince. When she decided, the one she pulled away from and they sued her. I, I don't know if something's still going on so she could be with Jay-Z. Her mother comes up here and tells me, Megan Thee Stallion mother, that physically died after she signed with Atlantic, huh, a couple of years ago. Then her grandmama died right after that, back to back. Mama had some kind of brain cancer, ate up her brain. Huh? That was a sacrifice. And uh, whether it was direct or indirect, she just wants a fame and fortune and be near Beyonce and Jay-Z because she feel like she's a ride. But they up there using her in the ass and then she <sighs> allegedly in the spirit, what I'm saying. Y'all, I'm just talking shit. You see what I'm saying? She being used and she's an MK Ultra sex kitten being used as a sex slave. But the thing is, she likes it. And basically, it's been passed around. She think that's cute. But I'm telling you, her mama said they, they done brain mapped her. You can clone somebody without killing the physical body by doing it in the brain. Brain mapping her. She don't know if she going or coming a lot of times. She be confused in the head. I'm telling you, she got a memory problem. Her mind comes and goes, it's split. It's two personalities that she's carrying around. In the way, she kind of reminds me of Lil' Kim. Not in her look and not in her movements. But when Lil' Kim started off like that, they, they messed her mind up. Well, she was swapping identities and didn't even like herself and don't want to be herself. Started cloning from the inside out. There's different levels of cloning. But it all starts in the brain. Yes, they can give you another body and replace it and upload the consciousness. But this is not what I've seen yet. It's happened to Megan with the body change. It's been a brain implant and brain mapping. Soul tapping into the soul, soul swapping and soul tapping into. Her mother has said this to me. Megan's mother has been trying to speak to her. And sometimes she gets how she thinks she heals her mother. And sees her mother. There's an unfulfilled promise that she made to her mother that she not she has not kept. And her mother is disappointed with her 
laying around all in her ass with men. And her mama told her not to do that. But a part of her mama felt like she was here to keep her in line because Megan could be weak. I think her mother was instrumental in pushing her to go to school and get her college degree so you wouldn't be just a rapper. You'd be a businesswoman and have a degree to fall back on. She's not as strong as her mother. And she has problems with guidance issues and easy to be swayed because all she do is look at the fame and the fortune and the money and who she's associated with. She doesn't have real good judgment when it comes to her friends or who she hang out with or who her sex partners is because a lot of times she be drunk. If she's not physically drunk or have drank, she be high. Sometimes she don't know if she going to come, she better pop her ass and rap as long as she can. Because you know it's not a long shelf life for female rappers. Rappers, period. So, and then she's in a lot of debt. Y'all think she rich and making a lot of money. She's a debt slave and a sex slave. And the MK Ultra mind control slave. Them percentages is so high. They give you work and they keep you working inside of their industry. It's only like four or five major corporations that run all the radio stations and the record labels. So they'll keep you busy, but you're busy inside of the industry and organizations that belong to them. So they get a big chunk. And I know if she's with Jay-Z, she don't own our master. She is some kind of 360. If she with Atlantic, she's in some kind of 362, a partnership deal. She don't own all her rights and she didn't think about that. From what I'm seeing and her mama telling me, and what the spirits is telling me, she should have stayed where she was because she done made a deal with the devil. And you write checks with the devil that your ass can't cash. That she thinks she's going to, in the long run, she's not going to end up owning nothing. If they decide not to knock her ass off physically, she'll be broke in the next 10 years. All her rights she will not own. Unless she handles this like a really good businesswoman, I have the right accountants and lawyers to handle her accounts. But some of it may be too late because she's always already signed contracts. I'm telling you, whatever the millions that she's making, she's not going to get all of it. It's going to be eaten up in percentages and taxes because it looks like she's not minding her business too well. Especially you in the car, half naked, drunk and high with your so-called bull dagging friend that do anything and go both ways. I think she said she just had a baby. <sighs> she setting you up. She ain't your friend. She leading you down the road. Y'all laughing, talking, tongue in each other, getting high and drinking. You think that's your buddy messing with Tori and then reporting behind your back, back to that other nigga that's mad at you about that contract. You're not really a good judge of character out there half butt nigga with your ass out, foot bleeding, shot in your damn foot and shit. Mm police got you out down the street like that telling you to stand and move and hold your hands up um you went to college you don't seem too bright you might got book sense but you ain't got street sense and you ain't got coming out because your real friends a bitch and a nigga that's your friend wouldn't have you out there bad like that these two women that you hanging with and that other Kardashian over there that ain't nothing nice right there <laughs> Them Kardashians ain't nothing to fuck with, baby, because it's I pick up CIA operative. You really don't understand. So I know you see you getting mad at one of them Kardashian girls because they're going to always win. Dick, pussy, money, everything else. They already made women. They daddy was a made man. They mama is a, a lady boss, a made woman. You They already set for life and any child they got. Uh, you can't win with that. If I was around them, they fucked one of my niggas. I wouldn't even get mad. I'd just charge it to the game. I'll be outside. Y'all let me know when y'all finish, goddammit, if y'all don't want me to join in because you, you're not going to beat them. <laughs> if they decide to take you in, you got to make because I think they're in love with that uh that Armenian black girl that got that baby. Them twins, the, um, I think she in love. they in love with them. I think they bees with them all the time. If they pull you in and you're a so-called black bitch, you got it made. You know, they took China in. I think they done fell out, though. Then she had to sue them or something, but she's not going to win against them. Because they, they highly protected. They already made. They laid in mafia. 
Dutch they were put in that position and high ranking witches. So I already knew that wasn't going to go her way. When she got mad because, you know, she might have fucked Tory Lanez or something. That's what they do. They masters at it. You not. See, you should have just kept your mouth quiet because he ain't nobody to argue and fight by anyway. He's already caught up in the game. And they already trying to teach him a lesson and make a point of him. I don't know if he had a problem. He didn't want to sound right. I don't know what happened to make somebody target him like this or try to destroy him because he didn't want to go along with the program. I don't know if he wanted to make his ass clap and jiggle his ass cheek and open them. I don't, I, he didn't open them before and didn't want, didn't want to open them no more. You know, he being taught a lesson and made an example of Megan is being taught a lesson. Her and that girl fell out. But let me tell you something. From what I could see, that girl is a double agent. She was not her friend anyway. She there, I'm on what you own, Megan. I'm with what you with, because that's what she was paid to do. Pretend whatever you like, Megan, I love it. Let's jump in both feet together so they can lead up to what it led up to that night. That's what I'm seeing. Tori wasn't really serious about her. She was playing in her ad. That's all, you know. And that's all she was doing because she likes to lay with men. It's like this is, uh, and women's. This is just what they do, you know. I don't even know if she tried that powder before, but I don't get, it's just alcohol. They had her out of her mind. Mind closed and cloned, double-minded and ass open. That's, and she, she liked it. Nobody, I don't see anybody raped her. I don't see anybody force Megan to do anything. She was just having fun. And now she says she embarrassed and she got to admit it. For what? You young, you a woman, you got needs. You having fun. You young, you experiment, getting high. But see, it's going to cost you because you up there in that, in that game and you think it's just fun and games. They also testing you to see where your uh, tolerance level is. How far you will go, what you do, what you won't do, and for the what it looked like, her and that girl is easy breezy, sneaky and freaky, easy breezy brutal cover girl, suck a dick, bend my ass open, clapping, you can rock my world. That's what it, it it you know. But to her, it's not nothing. But but inside the industry, it's everything because they seeing what you will do and what you won't do. Now she's uh being tested. That's all. She just being tested, walked through the fire because if she gets out of this, probably will. This will, this will smooth over. And then you're going to, whoever paid to get you out of it, we're going to have to uh, really do some ass cheek clapping, goddamn it, come out with some hits after this because you're going to have to, you know, make up for it. You know, that set you up, help you get in something. Now, you know, you owe Big Daddy back. You know you owe Big Mama now. What is you willing to do, goddamn it, to pay me back? Because you know you got to finish out that contract. You know you owe me this amount of album and shit. You know you, you know, in the red for this amount of money. Now, we, they, they'll tell you. You don't decide what you're going to do. they tell you what you're going to do. If you don't want no more problems. Or if you want your career ended and you still owe all this debt and you'll be ruined. Now, you what you want to pay Big Daddy back? What you willing to do? You're going to come over and sit on Big Daddy and laugh. Tell Daddy and tell Mama what you're going to do. Because, you know, we're going to put you out here on the whole stroll. You got to do some pimping, goddammit. Or you're going to get pimped. Now, you, you know, what is you ready to do now for Daddy? Christmas coming, New Year's, you know. Is, you, is it going to be another hot girl summer, goddammit, for 2023? 20, 20, God what you going to do to her and what you going to do to me? You know what I'm saying? You know, you it's, it's, it's come on in out the rain. I right, come on, baby girl. Come on, this come up, pat they lap. Come on, sit up in your big daddy lap. That's how that game goes. So we're gonna watch her career because she owes money to two camps. And she probably see, I'm sure she knows it now. she been knowing it. She just, they just ain't told us. Because I'm around, I don't, I don't be watching. Do she have a hot song out right now? Do she have because I've seen some commercial or something she got advertising you know they give you those you inside the club and you're gonna have to pay them percentages on those those don't come for nothing so if she got something new out um right now that i don't know about or some hot new song how is she doing 
Because it's like they finna pit them against each other. Uh, the start of War Hug, Cardi, all the hot girls, all the rappers. Send Meg, made nothing off that song. She made Beyonce. I don't know. Kelsey said she's neutral with Meg and Tori. No, her and her and Megan not friends. Tori in court and how she stayed in the hotel a few weeks before Meg set up in a place to stay after the incident. Uh, no, they not friends. After she found out Megan was sleeping with her so-called man, but it couldn't be her man. And Tori messy like a woman to sit there in that car in front of them. Meg, yeah, why don't you tell her that me and you messing around? And that is kind of low for Megan to do that to her, but both of them do will do it to each other. As a competition for prestige, I'm the baddest bitch. I'm over you. I got to him. I do this and I do that. But then Meg is jealous of Kylie Jenner. So uh, you couldn't top her and go over her because that's the one they got to come bow to. You know they got to get some of that uh black dick and that black soul, you know, through their mouth pussy and the nigga booty hole. See, Tori going to give up. If he ain't gave up no butt, he going to give up some. It's just, you know, he, he, he ain't telling us about it because I see he, he got a clean face. See, I don't trust no nigga that ain't got no mustache and got all the shave hair off their face and ain't got no little goatee or beard on that. His mouth look like a booty to me. Whenever, man, I would be clean shaving like that on the face, I have to watch them side eye because they be undercover dick suckers. See, that's, that's what I'm seeing in the spirit. You know, all their body hair shaved off. That, that's how all the rappers look. Except for Nipsey and some other the real niggas that they physically kill. See, they don't, you know, to me, that's not no real nigga when I see your hat, your face like a bitch always shade down smooth. Uh, under your arm, shade down. Between your ass, your stomach, and your back, all shade down. <laughs> your legs shade down. You ain't got no hair on your body, you know what I'm saying? Then, then you in the entertainment and, I, you know, I already know what that is. You don't never have no hair on your body and your face, little, your, your mouth look like a booty. When you talk, all the hair out am around it, or anus, or red, them, goddamn it. That you let niggas know what it is when they know how your goddamn mouth. I don't trust no nigga that ain't got no hair around their mouth and on their face and on their neck or nowhere on their body. See, and when I look at Tori, I kind of get that, uh, I don't know, about half and half nigga, you know, bisexual ass nigga, one side male, one side female, kind of get that prince energy off of Tory Lanez. And he might over Richard. He might owe a sacrifice. Megan might owe another one, even though her mama and her grandmama is gone. What else I was seeing about that? See, that's just, you know, basically, I'm wondering where the gun at. Did I ain't watching this trial and listening to it. Did they say anything about the gun? Did they say anything about a bodyguard and a driver? Because I'm telling you, somebody fixed up. Somebody set up that situation and then somebody fixed it up. And I'm telling you, them in the car, if you talk to them separately, you will get three different stories. Or you will get slight deviations and conflicts in the story. I I still, for some reason, I don't believe that Tory Lanez directly shot her in the feet. I don't know why I don't. There's something hidden there in one of these females because she keeps coming up as the high priestess in the moon. So some one of them is a witch. One of them is involved in black magic and witchcraft and holding the secrets of what happened. I believe it's Megan and it's that other girl. Megan's not telling on the girl. The girl is not telling on herself. She's not telling the complete story about her and Tori's argument. And then all three of them was fighting, all three of them. And it was led by a man, which is Tori. He led it and he started. And then the two women already got secrets between themselves. And Tori told one of them that me and Megan, why don't you tell her we've been fucking behind your back? And then he fucking both of them. Then they got secrets about they fucking each other and they fucking other men together and getting high. And then fucking men that's tied to Tori. Then Tori fucking other went. I mean, man, this shit is so mad. All of them fucking each other, goddammit. It's drugs in this, and it's organized crime in this, 
And for some reason, I see two guns and I see the guns being swapped and I see two sets of bullets. I believe she got shot. I don't know if it was accidental with Tori in the middle of it or them two girls got the fighting and that other girl took a gun. I said a gun because I see two and I see her pointing the gun. I see her and Tori getting it and she's getting the gun. I don't know how she got it because I ain't looked that deep. I wonder, did she have one on, on herself, on her person, or did she take it? Tori have one, but I don't believe mm, it's, it's, it's another man here that has a gun. It's another man and it's, he's older. I wonder how old was there a bodyguard? And if so, what does he look like? How old is he? And how old is the driver? And then it was somebody outside of whatever kind of car they was in holding their hands up, waving. It's some dirty set up shit here that y'all don't see. And it's some fixers here, some cleaners that cleaned up like the clean up woman. It's see, this is what I can't get. I ain't sit. I don't, I don't have time to sit with it. Like I said, y'all haven't donated for me to sit with it anyway. It's some confusion and it's a gun between Tori and that other girl. And a, another man that's either a bodyguard, or the driver, and mm. I'm not going to look at this either, any deeper either, unless y'all donate to me to look any deeper with it, because it's them three right there. Tory line, Meg the Stallion line, because she's scared about her career. Her friend, which ain't her, really was never really a friend. Jealous and comp, uh, competition and want to be in Meg's position because I don't think she got no major music deal or rap deal. And I think that's what she wants. And she's very devilish. And she's two-faced and put there to spy. A industry plant is what I'm seeing. Them two. This is between them two. Thank you for people that have donated do, do, uh, do, during this live. Uh, Megan's taken the oath. She has to take the position she's taken. If she doesn't take the position she's taken, she could be ruined. Tori has begged her not to do this and not to say this. She cannot because her handlers and who she's under contract with are more powerful than her. She done been told to do this to, to this man. And then the other girl she done took some money from two people's hands. Tori and that other man, I I know I can't prove what I'm saying. She some kind of way is tied to that camp that Megan was under contract with that worked with Jay Prince. Now, I'm telling you now, she's not no damn good. And I wonder if she had any legal problems before. Uh, either she had them direct or a group of people, a nigga she was screwing. Had some legal issues she was tied to and it was tied to organized crime. Whoever that girl there, she was dealing with. So I wonder if she got more than one child. Was that a baby daddy? Or if this is her first child, who she had a child with? She's been in some trouble with a nigga she was dealing with that's tied to organized crime and drug dealing. Now, they was partying and drinking. All three of them was having a good time, and then it flipped. Them two women's right there. They had the problem, and then they attacked Tory Ballhead ass. He attacked them and said what he said, and then they attacked him and then they attack each other and Megan start busting on her. Man, this shit. And then she pulled a gun. Let me shut up, man. Huh, man, I don't know because I know what I just said. I don't think that matches what was said. I'm not sure I don't keep up with it. And I ain't trying to match what the fuck they said. I'm telling you what you said. Oh, that's okay. Foot, thank you. Not football, baseball. Okay. Baseball player got a baby with 11 
I don't, I, I, I don't, oh, Ella, Evelyn, uh, okay, Evelyn from basketball, thank you, okay, I thought it was football, okay, it's basketball, okay, thank you, Carl Crawford is an ex-basketball player, not a football player, okay, I want this little football player in here anyway, anywhere for me to set at that's connected to Carl and if major football players connected to him and Jay Prince. If y'all find out he got any football friends, I'm sure you do, let me know that's, that be with them. You said Megan does have a bodyguard. Was he there that night? You said there's an old video of Kelsey with Jay Prince and Carl C talking about, wait a minute, so Kelsey was with Jay Prince and Carl C. Okay, thank you. So she do know him, like I said. Said Kelsey, baby daddy, tied Jay Prince. What? I don't know who a baby daddy said she just married a 1501. Who is 1501? Is that who she with? Okay, that's thank you. Somebody just, Kimberly just, Sheffield said 1501 is the label that calls over there. Y'all can thank you. Thank you. So they can't find him. What? Et cetera, et cetera. Podcast said they can't find. A man to testify? What is that? A her bodyguard or the driver? Both of them know what's going on. Oh, thank you, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, pocket. The bodyguard was driving. I'm telling you, it's another man. It's another man besides the bodyguard. Uh, but uh, that was driving. So you said the bodyguard is also the driver. I'm saying I've seen two other men and I'm seeing the police that is tied to their camp that was paid to alter the story trying to cover and protect the peoples above Megan. That That's uh, control her contract in the organization. So he was grabbing a gun from Kelsey. Who was grabbing a gun from Kelsey? Okay, that's a good point, Sadia. She said Kelsey wasn't tested for gun residue. So Tori was tested, but his DNA wasn't found on the gun. You see that? That woman, is, she's violent. Something happened between them. You said they're going to testify next week. Okay. Uh, they said only female DNA. What? Female DNA was on the gun? Well, they didn't test Kelsey, so they can't verify that it's her. Thank y'all. Y'all keeping up with it, babe. I got so much going on. Tori and Drake. Uh Said that was very mess. It wasn't that messy, divine yummy, yeah, y'all. Tori messy as hell to do that. And they got the fuck because that girl snapped when she heard that Megan was messing with Tori behind her back. Thank y'all for confirming because uh, I know y'all have time. You said 15, Miosha said 15. Yeah, but I'm also seeing somebody tied with this in, in football. Wait a minute, you say you think Carl has some so sad. Yeah, that are also they could be private investors. I'm not seeing, I don't know about. And friend that be with him. 15 Moesha said 1501. J Prince, all mob ties, rap a lot, label and gang. Oh, thank you. You said Lady Libra thought it was only Tory bodyguard and driver that was there because they wasn't driving the drive. Well, baby, what I'm saying is I didn't say Tory was driving. I did not say that. I said it was a separate bodyguard and driver. And that's where I see the guns. They switched them, pulled them out, and I see two sets of bullets. Even the bullets that shot her, I don't see them because somebody got them. Hmm? That's what I'm saying to you. I don't believe the police got all the bullets in the guns. You said, okay, Coastal. I don't know. Now, Coastal's saying both Kelsey and Tori had gun residue. See, I don't, I ain't been watching. I don't know if there's been a gun residue test the police took on Kelsey and Tori. But if they did, it would make sense because both of them had their hands on that gun. I'm telling you, it was fighting. Tori tried to shoot Kelsey. <laughs> Kelsey tried to shoot Tori. Tori trying to fight and get the gun from shooting him and trying to turn it back on her. They... Oh, Lord, let me shut up. Because, see, that's what I'm... I'm see, this, this shit with somewhere else and what a name, Megan ain't going to tell. Because she's scared. You said Queen J, why is AKT confirming? They got the fight that... 
But then Megan was fighting, throwing hands. That, that one right there, that girl want to shoot her, try to shoot him too. He turned, they were fighting over it. That's some kind of way that's what the fuck I'm seeing. All three of them were fighting. Oh, Megan made a song about how Am I Fit It Happened situation. It's called Who Shot Me, I Think. You see, A. L. Murray, cause her mind, she don't fucking remember everything. That mom trying to, she get drunk and hide on my, she don't, I don't know what they gave her, but she don't be fucking remembering. You said it was Tony, Tori's bodyguard, and Tori's driver, and Meg said it was a 22 caliber. So, is a 22 caliber, that's a revolver? I don't know, I had to look it up. Tori used Meg's mother's death to get close to her. They only imit- intimate once. I mean, I don't know. So both of them had it, Divine Yim and y'all. Coastal Peach said it. And what, I don't know. That's what she said. That don't mean it's true. So please go check the shade room. It literally said his DNA was not found. Oh, child. I don't know. But I'm telling you, he touched it because they were fine. Kelsey and Tori both tested positive for re- residue. D- Divine Yim and y'all see it. Is that what the court said? Say yes, it was test. Both of their residue was on it. Uh, Your Highness saying. Moesha, Kelsey, and Tori tested positive, but no test was done on the driver. Or uh, Meg. Meg didn't have no gun. She telling the truth about that. She didn't put no gun on nobody. Um, you said Celeste Aries. I really believe Kelsey, however her name spell shot her and all three was in a relationship now kelsey had something to do with that gun and she wanted to shoot she was angry she was mad about that she felt humiliated and enraged about what he had done and betrayed but like i say i i don't know if if there's a gun test because i've been too busy to watch it thank you baby it's you says twin two's a revolver but i'm telling it was two of them well, we'll see, Divine Yemen, y'all, is that the cop that was paid and what they say? I think so, but they have small bullets. It can be a revolver. It was two guns. I'm sticking by what I say. I see I see it in the spirit. I see it. And I seen the bullets. They opened the gun up and got the bullets. Yes, both of them was tested. Okay, a lot of y'all are saying both of them was tested. A couple of people said it was not. But, um... Yeah, we understand that DNA testing and residue testing for guns is different. We understand that. And the people are saying that there was a gun residue test. Um, hey, Tam. Reporter said the clip was nearly in. Wait a minute. Hold on, Moesha. So there was a gun with a clip in it? Because that wouldn't be a revolver, baby. So who, who said something about a clip? That's why the shooting was, uh, that's what the shooting was about. Well, yeah, they had to call the police. And they have police on payroll, babe. Police were involved. So so some of them are on payroll. You just don't know. Under the law. Anyway, I'm tired, you all. That's about all I know because I haven't dug into this deeper. I'm not going to dig into it deeper. Again, if I don't get donations to dig into it, I'm not going no further with it. I'm exhausted. I have other cases I haven't even finished. Where people have paid me private readings and I have to do about the baby that was murdered he was in the custody of his father in louisiana the baby died under very mysterious circumstances during the thanksgiving holiday and refused to give him back to his mother they were sharing custody basically looks like neglect with that child so i've been paid by his grandmother to finish that and other rings i've been paid to do wait a minute moesha one police quit wait a minute Quit. What did he quit, Moesha? So it was five of sh- uh, five shots. How many hit Megan in the f- in the foot? Do y'all know? Oh Lord! Outreach baby in a box. I don't know anything about a baby in a box. Don't know anything about it. Never heard about it. I know. They found fragments in there, Divine Yemi. Y'all do know how many times she was shot in the foot? I have to look at it and see. I wonder, I hope they were able to dig all the fragments out of her foot. 
They said it was glass. No, they're saying she really was shot. I think the doctor's records confirm she had bullet fragments in her foot. She was shot with, with a gun and it's bullets. Um, anyway, it makes sense about cop being paid because he did quit. Oh, somebody quit. She has bullet fragments in her foot. Outreach women of faith. Check out what? What, what, what am I supposed to go check out? For free and do research for you. If it's a case you're looking at, continue to go look at it. Don't ask me to go around and look up any story for free for you. I have cases of my own to look at that I got paid to look at. And things on here that I read, I get donations for them. You do not have the right to come over and ask me to take my time and energy and look up something for you to do a read for you to give you information for nothing. How does that benefit me? Go find another reader to do it for you, honey. You didn't say anything to me. You haven't contacted me and you haven't sent, you haven't asked me to do any reading in private. You haven't asked me what is the donation or if I even have time to do it. You haven't said anything to me in private to make arrangements. So when people, um, I, but I don't know that it's not for free because you never contacted me and said anything to me about it. You're just throwing it up here now. Go look at it. And I'm just saying, wow, why should I go do that? I'm tired as hell. When you haven't said, what is what is your fee to do this and that for me about a baby in a box that I, I don't know anything about because I'm busy working and in between that, I'm resting. So how do I know it's not for free? All you have to do is contact me, but don't throw stuff in here. I'm not like these other readers. I can't be all over the place for y'all. Jump here, jump there. Do this. What happened with this person? What happened with Young Thug? What happened with Ghana? We know what happened to Ghana. He made a fucking deal and he's out. Other than that, I, I, I can't be all over the place for y'all. Yes, yeah, CC, but I, this is the first time I'm here. Baby, wait, wait, go look at it. Go look at it. If, if you would have came to me, and I'm not trying to be funny, but I'm just saying you would have came to me in private and said, this is what I want you to do. Can you do this? Are you free to do this? I tell me, I think I did see some, but I don't, I don't have time. I, look, I'm only one person with one body. I can't, these stories are all over the place. It's so many stories and so many things. I can't jump on everything. Y'all, I will be dead. I already don't sleep as it is, especially if you're talking about doing it for nothing and you haven't even offered me nothing in private to say, would you do this? Would you be interested in doing this? How much? I have to eat and pay rent like everybody else. Well, not rent, rent, but I have to pay my bills. I have to eat. I have to take a bath. Just like y'all while I'm in a human body. I, I can't. All these stories coming so fast. All these people getting killed. All, all this shit going on with weather. I, I can't just do everything. I only got one body and it's really tired. I'm really tired right now. That's what I said. I'm not going to just keep going into this story right here. Although it's very interesting for nothing. People ask me about it, but people haven't offered me anything. So I'm, I'm not going to go forward with it. This is, this is a messy story. All of them are lying. So where is that into it? I don't know, CCB. I don't know, but I'm tired right now. Um, like I said, you have to contact me. Um, no, I, I can't have a conversation about something I don't know. And to know I've had to sit with this. Y'all think this is easy? I have to sit with these things. And I write out my reading. Sometimes that takes hours. It might take days just to hear what they have to say about this. I don't do casual readings unless that's what you're paying me for. Just like I'm just kind of casually telling you what I'm seeing 
on a surface level with the spirits of telling me and Megan's mother is very upset with her and the way she's handling herself and what she said about her, about her addictions, her drinking, her memory loss that she's not telling anybody about and is blurred and she has gaps in what happened to her. And she's, if she says certain things she doesn't recall, some of it, she's not lying about it and she's afraid of something. So she's not going to disclose everything on top of it. And it's things she doesn't want, she doesn't want you to know that she has gaps in her, she has memory issues. She blacks out. That's what I'm trying to tell you from looking in her mind. That's what her mother said. Time in the church. CCB, I mean, they can research some of it, but some of the stuff they will not know unless they have a gift to see, to peer into the underworld and go to the other side. And that, and you can research stuff on the surface level. You can get basic facts that are in the third dimension. Just like they said to me, sometimes Megan is in the fifth dimension. She does have a higher level of sensing, but she's confused about it, doesn't understand it. Why? Because spirits have been put on her. She has a whole new spirit, a whole nother personality being put on her that will sometimes black out her conscious mind and override her dominates her like Sasha fears she is but it's not as strong and as heavy as Beyonce's she's not at that level of witchery but she's like an apprentice and depending on how she handles this and do what she told she will go to another level of sorcery I also saw that her mother told me and when she blacks out that other thing turns on and uh she's something else sexually I will say that she has no remorse because it's not her. That thing on her has a name. See, that's another story. I'm not going to tell y'all about that. <laughs> anyway, for those that love me and support me, hit my cash up, bitch. Hit my cash up and make it help. It make it clap. You want me to get more into what I've seen over there? Because uh, this girl don't know. She be in her mind and in her body sometimes, and that thing take over. It's something else. They don't they don't put it on her. All of them have entities on her, but her idol, whoever she idolizes and wants to be under, and we know who that is. It's similar. It's in that family of spirits. It's in a group of those spirits, and those mermaid and water spirits, that has been put on her. Mm-hmm. And it's real sinuous, slimy, like a snake, very seductive. And it works from the first chakra to seduce. But anyway, I should be sacrificed on past relationship. I know some things in that individual making the whole tongue thing. Uh, who else be doing their tongue like that? And did they tongue out? Let's see, that's also Kali Ma, Nature Mommy. No, Mommy Watts is good, it's not a bad spirit, which is also Yemen Ya, a water spirit, the mother of all life in the ocean. People have done even one of Jay's mistresses, Moesha, is facts, and and uh, Cardi B do her tongue like that, her mouth like that. Mm-hmm. It's a natural thing to do, but it, you don't really understand how to do it. And it definitely is, uh, will depend on how you handle your tongue. So do some man with oral sex, you know, putting your mouth on certain places. The tongue is the awful thing, baby. <laughs> know how to, 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 to use it. Uh, anyway. I'm uh, I'm tired, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later.